Hey, what's good with y'all, bruh? Is they call back with another video now? In this video, bruh, this is the ultimate dribble tutorial. I'm showing you guys all the cheese. I'm not showing you guys combos just yet, but I'm gonna show you guys combos eventually because I know you guys want to see combos and shit. But for now, I'm just gonna show you guys like cheese dribble moves. Like, I'm just, like all the people that just got the game. This is your video, or if you're trying to be cold at the game, this is your video. Now, let me show you guys my six real quick. You guys see. My cards of relief to behind the back six, spin eight. Um, a lot, there's a lot of good spins, but I have on spin eight right now. I don't really care too much about that. But I still hesitation normal one. Rhythm dribble. I have on elite one. Look at this, y'all. Look at all these good rhythm dribbles there are. But I'm gonna just leave on elite one for you for right now. Uh, inside out size of combo elite two. Cards of a size of combo Carmelo between legs size of combos. Lance Stevenson behind the back Jamal Crawford. Now, let me get into the dribble tutorial real quick for y'all, bro. Now, look. First of all, I'm, I'm going to start light. I'm not going to make it too difficult. Like, this is stuff. If you got, if you had the game for a while, you should know this stuff. But if you just got it or you're trying to be, like, if you're trying to be a dribble guide, this is the video for you. All right. So, first of all, I'm going to show you guys how to do momentum crossover. Hold on. Before I start that, make sure you go down to options. Go to controller settings. Make sure you're dribbling on absolute, y'all. I know I'm running low on defense, but make sure you got on um, VC, but make sure you guys have your dribbling on absolute. You guys see it absolute, absolute, absolute. That's what you want. You always want that if you are a playmaker or whatever position you are, because you don't have to like, your dribble moves are just better when you do that. Just trust the ball is in my left hand. So I'm going to point it to the right like that, but then I'm going to run, hold R2. Once you point it and run that same direction like this, I point it R2 and then I run there. It's like one motion. Once you point, that's when you hold R2 and run that same direction. It's really simple, guys. You guys see I'm just spamming it now. Look, this is you're just doing just like this, but it has to be quick, y'all. You can't, whenever you're holding R2 and running the opposite direction, it has to be quick so you could just keep spamming it like this. But you guys see that. But next, I'm going to show you guys the, I'm going to show you guys this, Brian. You're going to be doing this. Just I, I just messed that up all the way. But you're gonna do the momentum into the behind the back. All right, so come to the top. Momentum. I keep messing up. Hold on, let me reset. Let me reset. Let me reset. All right, momentum behind the back, just like that. Now, behind the back, elite six is key to do this dribble move, y'all, because you're gonna get like a good animation. This behind the back, elite six. It's a smooth animation. A lot of different behind the backs don't look as good. So you wanna make sure you have elite six on. Now look, momentum behind the back. Look how smooth it looks, y'all. You get right into the corner with this. I'm gonna miss that shot. But you get right into the corner wherever you're trying to get because a lot of behind the backs will make you go forward. And with this one, it, it takes you backwards. So like, if I do momentum and I do behind the back, the defender is gonna be confused. Cause look, I'm already at the three point line. Let's say I'm a sharpshooter or something. It's gonna be green every time. But let me let me explain the uh, momentum into behind the back a little bit more. All right, so guys, momentum. Like I said, just point. And run the opposite ball hand. Then you're gonna want to flick it down on a right analog. Look, once I do the momentum, let go of R2 and flick down quick. And you're gonna go flying the opposite direction. Make sure your dribble is absolutely. You gotta see how fast this dribble move is. This this whole this is insane, y'all. Right here, this is insane. Now the next dribble move, I'm gonna show you guys. It's just a simple behind the back coming up the court. Look, all you wanna do is flick down to do this. If it, this this can literally. It can literally make a defender fall, like straight on their ass. You got ankle breaker Hall of Fame, like me, coming up court, just behind the back. All you gotta do is flick down one time to do this dribble move. Look at it, bro. It's super effective. Now, my next, my cause of side become, I have on Carmelo Anthony. My Carmelo Anthony is this right here. This, There's a lot of good ones, but I, I just have on Carmelo right now. I'm gonna bring you guys more dribble stories. Give me 50 likes, bro. I'm bringing guys more dribble tutorials. I'm bringing guys combos, all that, bro. Right now, I'm just showing you guys my sigs, what they do. Look, it's Carmelo. Now, bro, but the tween uh, people do not know about this. But at the same time, at the same time, some people do. Now, this is Lance Stevenson right here. Look, between, I'm going to put the ball between my legs. You guys know how to do that. Put the ball between your legs out of this move. Look, guys, right here. This is the animation I'm looking for. Between the legs, they're going to want to go diagonal. Not diagonal between the legs and then opposite ball hand like sideways look that's the animation right there that you're looking for guys right there and then once you do that you could momentum straight out of that like look you guys see how fast that is that is stevenson 
That is the Lance Stevenson uh, behind, between the legs, behind the back thing. You guys see it, bro. Look. Between the legs and sideways. Between the legs, sideways. Between the legs. It has to be quick so you can actually get the animation. And then you could do... Like, there's so many comments you could do just out of this move. Look. But that's it for that part of the move. Now, let me show you guys some more stuff, bro. Like I said, I have a lot more I can show you guys. This is just... This is just the beginning, bro. We still got... We still got... Um... The basic size to get into and the rhythm dribble to get into. You got everybody knows about it. hesitation. I'm gonna show you guys some stuff you can do with spins. All right, so let's continue. All right, you guys see my basic size. Y'all saw it with normal three. Now y'all probably wondering why the hell I have a normal three when I do sideways. Like when I go back to back sideways, this is just sideways, y'all. This is the animation I get. Now it's not a good and it's not a beautiful animation. But I'm about to show you guys right now why I have um normal three, bro. It's hella overpowered. Look, that's the animation I get when I go back to back sideways. I know it's kind of ugly, y'all. It's kind of slow, but this is why I have it. Look at this, y'all. Look at how I'm stepping back like that. Now, if any of y'all, I'm holding R2. When you hold R2 and flick the right analog down, 2K15, this is the animation we're getting. We have not seen this animation since 2K15. Y'all know 2K15 servers are gone, but if you want this animation again, just go ahead, go ahead and put on normal three as your basic size up. And look, y'all, I'm spamming. It's, this move is hella effective. You kill somebody, that's how I'm coming right here. Step back, three. It's going to be too easy. I'm not going to be making every shot, but you guys get the concept. Like, this this move, let's say I combo it. Go like this. Something like, bro, something like. If you could just keep stepping back, I promise it's going to be green. Like, it, you don't even have... Like, it creates so much space because people will think you're driving. Then once you step back, you're open. It will be green. But look, now I'm going to show you guys spin moves. You, everybody knows spin moves. I believe I have on Elite 8. Now, I don't even do spin moves like that. But when I do, I kill people because I time it perfectly. Now, if you're going to do a spin move, let's say there's a defender at the elbow. This is my defender right here, y'all. Let's say there's a defender right there. If I'm doing a spin move, I'm coming like this. Spin straight off of him. Now, I see a lot of people... A lot of people be doing spin moves coming straight up the court. Like, if you come in straight up the court, like, let me, let me say right here. If you come straight up the court like this, you are a doofus. You will dribble right on a person's foot, on the person's foot, and you do not want the animation. If you're doing a spin move, you always want to come on, come at an angle. Now, you could do a crossover coming, like, straight. It might work, but if you're doing a spin move, how 2K is this year, it's going straight off that defender's foot. So, you always need to be coming at a slight angle. And along with the behind the back, if you go at an angle, it's going to be a lot more effective, guys. Now, let me show you guys some more shit. All right, so I showed you guys behind the back. I showed you guys the spin. Oh, let me show you guys the um, rhythm dribble. I showed you guys the basic size up. You guys saw that was the 2K15 step back animation I was showing you guys. Um, I showed you guys Carmelo Anthony. I showed you guys between the legs, Lance Stevenson. I'm going to show you guys Jamal Crawford and um, my rhythm dribble right now. I'm going to have a separate video for um, a lot of more dribb rhythm dribbles, but I'm just showing you guys this stuff for now, bro. Make sure you guys give me 50 likes so I can show you guys more stuff, bro. Now, let me show y'all real quick. Jamal Crawford. This is Jamal Crawford. Look how quick it is, bro. You guys see, it's this quick because I have the basic size up I have. It allows this animation to be way more faster. Look. Now, it would be way slower, but look. This is the regular animation. But if you have on Jamal Crawford, look how quick that is. Now you cannot spam this move because I don't know why. Even if you're, even if your stamina is all the way up, 2K will give you an animation like this. Step back, hit it. Just hold on, I messed that all up. Step back, hit it just like that. You guys see, you will make a defender fall. It's just like 2K15, bro. That move is just like 2K15. Now, let me show you guys my rhythm dribble. This is the last dribble move I'm showing for now, bro. Like I said, I'm going to have a lot of more dribble moves to show you guys the best jump shots, all that stuff. Make sure you guys subscribe right now if y'all aren't already and y'all are still watching. Subscribe right now. Turn on notifications. I'm about to show you guys this rhythm dribble. I have a lot more. But look, look how fast it is. All you have to do to do this rhythm dribble. Oh, and by the way, the behind the back, I mean, the double behind the back, I just showed you guys. All you're doing is flicking down on a right analog two times, just like this. Two times fast. Two times fast just like this y'all but look the rhythm dribble to do a rhythm dribble all you want to do is flick the right analog up and you can run the same ball hand or the opposite look if i'm flicking up and i run the same ball hand y'all see how quick that is bro who's gonna guard me please tell me who's gonna guard me with and i have my speed is hella high because i'm a playmaker 
you guys see this is elite one there's a lot of good ones but this is this one right here is just elite one now you could do a lot with this one because it can go both ways now i don't have to go when i flick it up you guys see i could speed boost i could speed boost right here but i could also allow the animation to wait out like look if i let it wait out i could go the other way bro it's real simple you guys see hold up this is the full animation you don't want to do the full animation because it doesn't look then you can't speed boost out of it you guys see how slow it looks so the, it's either you're going the first way like let me do it real quick it's either you're going this way or you're gonna wait for the second way after the second way it's gonna be ugly like you're not gonna be able to speed boost no more that animation doesn't gonna look ugly but like i said y'all this is these dripping moves this is just something like bro, something like make sure i get 50 likes on this video bro i'm bringing you guys combos shit like that bro i got y'all i know everything zayko got y'all like i said make sure you leave make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you haven't already Zay Zay code and i'm signing out